Check it out, Project Zomboid. It's currently the middle of the night, and I have nothing better to do, and I feel like making a video, but I am kind of out of it, sleepy. So, my head's not really in the right place to do Minecraft, and I haven't picked anything else out yet. I thought I would give this a spin, because I'm pretty active in the modding community for this one. Um, I'm playing the most recent test version, uh, which is not an official release. Uh, it's got a ton of bugs to it, and it has a tendency to, like, royally screw you in the most inopportune times, which should make for a great video. Um, I'm using a bug fix mod that I wrote the majority of. Uh, it also includes a bunch of fixes from other people. So without further ado, let's start a new world, and we will go ahead and be Big Willie, Big Willie Evans. Uh, be a construction worker, because I'm always a construction worker, and you have to take strong, because I really don't like not being able to carry stuff. And I want to be a light drinker and short-tempered. So I am basically a wife beater. All right, looks like this is actually a pretty good place. We're up by the school area. No, I don't care about any of this. Uh, let's shut that. The first things you want to do is locate a weapon. And usually, if you get to one of these kitchen areas and you go through these cupboards, you can locate something pretty quickly. Like a kitchen knife. And then once that is secure, I want to get myself a full set of tools as quickly as possible. And while I'm at it, collect up some food and water. Alright, so we got a whole bunch of whiskey. I don't want to drink that. I'm just going to dump it. Sorry, I know. Alcohol abuse. Uh, I got too many cups. I don't actually need all these cups. I only need one. There. If you have a cup, sugar, and a kettle, you then have the ability well, to make coffee and tea. And those are nice to have. I'm having a little difficulty controlling my character. I'm not drunk, I swear. We're just going to fill up all of our water sources here at the sink. And water weighs a ton. Well, maybe not. It's only 29 out of 250. That's not bad at all. Now, upstairs, there are a couple of apartments. I don't know why there are apartments above a school, but there are. Butter knife. That's kind of important, too. And not being naked is probably a good thing. Sheets. Oh, hallelujah. I'll show you what sheets are for in a second. Apparently I'm very hungry. I'll go ahead and take this. Just start this cooking while we ransack the rest of the house. Ooh, canned food. Can opener. Perfect. Uh, flashlight. Good. Uh, I could take a frying pan. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take it. Come on, cook faster. No, oh, it doesn't look like there's anything useful here. There can be stuff hidden. Oh. But there wasn't anything useful in there. Cool. Cooked steak. Oh, it's getting close to 5 p.m. Go ahead and eat that. 
cool. I'm now very well fed. Let's get out of here. Because there's somewhere I want to try and get before night falls. If you're out here when the sun sets, that's very, very bad. Because the zombie population, like, goes through the roof after the sun sets. Oh, there's a zombie. might not be able to get there on day one. It's not good. No, well, we're making good time. Oh crap, there's a whole bunch of zombies. Whoa! Okay, maybe not. Uh, there's another survivor. There's a couple survivors. Uh, there's some bread. Go ahead and take that. Oh, there's a whole bunch of bread. Too bad there's no peanut butter in here. That would be really nice. And we'll just go out this window. Ah, uh, through the window. Uh, there must be something blocking it on the other side. I'm with you, buddy. Hey, 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 let me in. Or go back out, whatever. It's your funeral. A lot of people overlook these little dining tables. Or not dining tables, uh, end tables. But there can actually be really nice stuff in there, like guns. There's bullets. Bulls. More bulls. A uh, full set of bulls is four. So once you get four bulls, stop collecting them. There's no point. Ah, Jesus. Ah. Dude. That's not cool. What's in there? Oh, it's a bedroom. Oh, crap. Hey, someone's already covered that up. Empty notebook, pencil. No, I don't want to sleep yet. Almost, though. More empty notebooks. More pencils. And a lollipop. I'll take that. Notebooks are useful because you can turn them into journals. And journals are probably the best way to keep your character from... Losing his mind due to boredom. There we go. Now we've got 60 journal pages that reduce boredom by 50 points each, which is substantial. I hear a shit ton of zombies. Oh, God. I don't know if we're going to be able to sleep here. Oh, I hear somebody getting eaten. Uh, somebody stabbed a zombie. Fuck, I don't know what to do. Uh... Shit. That dumbass just fired a shotgun that's going to bring the entire horde from all over the city to right here. No, I don't want to sleep yet. Fuck. Ooh, cigarettes. Nice. Thanks. Another end table. do this, but I think I'm going to have to sleep here. Please don't kill me. Uh, 
Alright, I don't know what's outside this door, but I'm gonna have to make a run for it. Fuck! Okay, that's not so bad. On the bright side, that retard was firing that shotgun up here, so I should be able to make it. Actually, let's stop and raid this house. I'm gonna see if I can find some more bed sheets. Peanut butter would be nice. Oop, lollipop. Oh, empty. Except for a flashlight. More bread. Now, you do have to be wary when you're coming into rooms upstairs. Well, not just upstairs, but... Why can't I take this? Take it. Take it. Oh, shit. I don't want the belt. Why get in there? Uh... What was I saying? Oh, yeah. There can be zombies in the house. So don't let your guard down just because you're inside. You're not safe. I'll take a bunch of those pills. Okay. Yeah. I knew there was going to be a hammer in here. Uh, how much weight am I carrying? 84. Okay. I can handle that. Going back here, I shouldn't need to run. Because there shouldn't be any zombies. Just a nice, peaceful stroll near the burnt down building in the zombie infested world. Just like every other day, right? Hidden cash. Oh, I'll take those. I'm gonna need those. So you're probably wondering what the fuck is he doing, but there is a method to my madness. You'll see here in a second. Uh, not that way. This little cottage over here. That's what I'm aiming for. In most of my playthroughs, this seems to be the safest place to set up a safe house. It's got a bunch of storage in it. Uh, it's got this little lamp that you can turn on and it never seems to run out. So first things first, I am going to get this wood out of my inventory. Pick up all this shit. Now I can move, and now I need to cover up these windows. Where'd all those sheets go? There they are. Because I don't want any zombies seeing the light from my lamp and then deciding to come and smash through my window in the middle of the night and investigate while I'm sleeping. That would not be good. All right, let's put these curtains down. Da da da. Alright, now let's get sorted. Come here. Come here. Oh, a pistol. Holy crap. Yeah, give me all that. Now I can't move again. Alright, I think I'm going to use this bottom one here for food. that ugh I'm just gonna go ahead and eat this all 
There's more food. Ah, damn it. I didn't mean to do that. Alright. There's that. And this will be for extra water. Got a whole bunch of it. That's good. Never have too much water. Uh, I think that's about it, really. And I like tea and coffee. So I tend to have one box just for tea and coffee and cigarettes because they do pretty much the same thing. That's for tea and coffee. Uh, tea bags. Damnation. All right, go. Am I missing anything? Cigarettes. Okay. Note, you can click next to an item. Okay, see that little arrow overlay? Uh, that arrow will move stuff directly into the container that you have open. However, it's actually on the wrong side, so you have to click about the same spot over here, and it'll move stuff across. And what the hell? I'm anxious. I'm bored. I'm sleepy. I'm carrying way too much. I'll go ahead and put this bread in my food. Alright. Um. Whoa. No, none of that. I'll put my cooking utensils here. Frying pan. Sorry if sorting is boring, but it's got to be done. Oh, shit. Sugar. Uh, can opener. It's cooking utensil. Can opener. I'm uh, still fed. That's good. Um, I will go ahead and put my notebooks in with my coffee supplies. Maybe. Nah. I'll put them up here. Magazines. And books. Ah, uh, boards. Construction equipment. Boards up here. That's a lot of boards. Hammer. Nails. And I got a lot of random shit. Uh, Alright, I need a place for medical supplies. So, last box. Drugs, drugs, drugs. Uh, beta blockers, painkillers, antidepressants. And now we can turn all these clothes into bandages. Uh, except the socks. Can I do anything with the pillow? No. Damn it. I have to ditch that somewhere. It's not cluttering up my shit. Oops. Fuck. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Uh, where am I going to put the gun and bullets? Actually, I'm going to have to make a another container real quick. There we go, and then we just place it, like so. And there we go. A place for guns and bullets. Where'd the bullets go? Damn this inventory. There. Oh shit, I think I just opened that window. Click on... No, click... No. No, you idiot. Close the fucking window, for fuck's sake. There. No! Oh, damn it.
Okay. Ugh, oh, fuck. Don't click that anymore. Alright, it's getting pretty late. Ditch that. Oh, that needs to go in my boredom chest. Okay. Candles. I'll put them over here with the gun. Uh, I'll carry the chocolate and the lollipops. I won't go ahead and store them yet. Flashlight. Oh, I can take that off before I wear down the battery. Um, ramen, you can go in food. Oh, batteries. Can go in with the candles. Alright, I think we're good. Now we'll just sleep. And in the morning we can go on our tool run. Uh, running or sprinting? Running makes me run longer before I'm exhausted. Sprinting lets me run faster. I prefer being able to run longer. Well, my recording session ran a little long, so I'm going to have to put a breaking point here. Stay tuned for episode 2. I know this one wasn't that exciting, but it really picks up. Trust me. See you next time.